Uh, what's going on guys? So I think you know where I'm at. I'm at the Mayan Two Big Pier here in Dowin. Hey, there's Alex. Is that Alex? And... Uh, <laughs> don't tell him to go get food. No, don't listen. Don't listen. Anyways. Uh, yeah. We had an awesome dive here about two days ago. And we're like, well, if it's a good dive, it's an even better night dive. So we're back here tonight. And man, I don't know. The currents, everything has changed. Look at this. It's a perfect sandy beach. And you guys know that this is like our least favorite entry in like all of Dalwin. You know, normally, even this side, look it. It's a perfect entry right now. Um, very strange, very strange. I've made videos about, I'm never diving here again at low tide or when the currents are bad, you know, stuff like that. Even though it's one of our favorite critter spots, it's a nightmare. But right now, it's like the entire ocean brought in tons and tons of sand and buried all these rocks. And at least temporarily, we have an awesome entry right here. And we're also getting better at reading the tide charts to figure out where the currents are going to be. So, <laughs> basically, we think between low and high tide, when it's moving all the way between one or the other, that's where there's most current. But right now, it's low tide, not moving much. And in a few hours, it'll be like slack tide in between. So, not much movement at all. So, it should be good currents as well. So it should be an awesome dive. It's one of my favorite spots. We got Alex. Here's Finn. He's coming. And now it's an in easy entry. We're actually doing two night dives tonight. But you guys are going to have to watch the next episode for that. So make sure to subscribe. Let's get into it. Finn! Yeah, it's crazy. I was just telling them. No more rocks. The sand is on top of everything. I was just telling them, this is like our nightmare spot. Yeah. Uh, oh, look, it's even further out. Even a few, yeah. There's no rocks. Even better than two days ago. I was just telling them, like, not long ago, we just didn't want to come here anymore. Because it's so our bad. Favorite dive site by far in terms of critters. For critters, yeah. But on average, we have to time it perfectly due to the tides and the current. So that's why rarely we come out here because we have a window of about two, three days now for perfect diving. And then we have to wait two, three weeks. Till yeah, the next and one. last week was horrible and the week before that was great. But now all this sand came out of nowhere. It's weird. And you can see way down there, it's really rocky. That It used to be like that everywhere here. You can, can't even walk. Sand is above it now. So it's going to be awesome. It's pure <laughs> low tide. And then it goes to slack tide about 10 p.m. Yeah. So it's not going to high tide yeah. till like nine in the morning. So that just means good current, easy no. dive. Should be. It's gonna be an awesome day. So Watch exciting. to the very end. I'm gonna put the whatever critter we find, the best one, at the very end. So let's get in the water. <laughs> hmm? Critter hunter. So this the same dive site as the last episode but you know what can make this dive site even better it is diving at night and that's where I saw this bobtail squid I also saw this little nudie that a lot of us like to call the Bob Marley because he got some little dreadlocks I don't know what his specific name is but yeah who really cares and this is one of the most nudie f nudiful nudie filled dives ever but this is actually a sea hair and a really really unique color I haven't seen them in this like peach pink and blue highlighted colors before it's actually really cool he's definitely gonna go into the book but I'm really glad we found him and the little flower thing he's sitting on makes it even cooler color I run into tons of these shrimp out in the sand and I usually ignore them because they don't hold still but as I was passing by, I just turned the camera on and filmed him for a second. <laughs> of course, every time you shine the light on them, they just kind of bury themselves in the sand. And that's what I expected, but, you know, I filmed them anyway. I really like shrimp, and we see countless numbers of them. 
shrimp and crab, in fact. So who knows? Maybe once our nudie prank book is finished, maybe we'll make a shrimp and crab book. Would you guys like to see that? Then I ran into this really, really tiny nudie break, and it is really hard to film. It's so, so tiny. But what made it even worse was all this plankton and stuff that was attracted to my lights. That's the only problem with night dives, is sometimes when there's zero current, all these plankton just like to swarm my lights and kind of attack whatever I'm filming. Sometimes I feel bad. And as you can see here, this little tiny looty was really getting smacked around by these little tiny shrimp. And I, I don't even know what these things are. Just plankton, I guess, floating around in the current mindlessly. But this is definitely a new species. It looks like a similar species of ones I've seen before, but with a yellow head. And then I tried to turn off the light and barely use any light and I used it from a distance so that the plankton would stay away, but they still bothered him. I ran into this shrimp, and it's the most hilarious shrimp I've seen in a long time. Now, this guy wasn't bothered by the plankton. He was happy that I brought the buffet to him. He was sitting there catching stuff out of the air and eating it. Of course, some of them are too big for him to eat, but either way, this guy was a really weird, kind of ugly, kind of cute shrimp. It looks like he's in the marble shrimp family because of all that colors and patterns. I'm not really sure. Maybe you guys can let me know. But either way, he's a really unique species of shrimp that I've never seen before. And like I said, kind of ugly. This guy let me film him for a while. Like I said earlier, I think he was just happy I brought the food to him. Next up is this fire worm. These guys I see quite a bit, but I usually kind of ignore them because they're kind of scary looking. But this guy was slithering around really fast in the sand. I don't know if they're related to nudie break and flatworms and that stuff, but they're definitely different. They move really fast. I think they use those little hair things to move instead of, you know, the way nudies move. And they're super colorful. And considering their name is fire worm, I, I'm gonna assume I should probably never touch it. But still, they got some awesome coloration. Look pretty cool at night with my light. This had to be shot in slow motion because this guy was actually slithering really fast across the sand. I mean, way faster than a nudie or a flatworm could ever move. So it's definitely unique. Speaking of flatworms, this one was really unique. Yeah, he's got like a furry, velvety kind of body. Really weird. But up front, look at that face. It's like he's got a face. Of course, no eyes, but it's like he has a face. Usually flatworms are, you know, flat on the front. But this guy looked like he had a whole head with horns and everything. Sorry, little dude, all the little plankton's falling and grabbing onto your body and being mean, but yeah, couldn't really be helped. I wasn't gonna let this guy pass him up. But look at that, it looks like a cow with horns. This is a really good shot actually. And by the way, this is another new species for our book. One we've never seen or filmed before. At first I thought it was just a plain old black flatworm, which is cool enough. But then when I got the macro camera on it, it had that cool head. Just had to film it. And then I found one of the coolest nudies ever. I was looking on this flat wall of an anchor block. And then look right there. Do you see it? <laughs> that flying saucer is a nudie break with the egg spiral behind it. Looks like he just got done laying eggs or maybe he sits there protecting them. I don't know. Of course, I'm not really sure how this nudie would protect anything. I don't, I never even seen him move. He's like, he's like a little tiny pancake on a wall. I'd love to see him move. He probably hovers like a hovercraft or a UFO or something. A little flying saucer. I called Finn over, but he was less impressed. I think he thought I was too excited for this little guy. But no, this thing is awesome. I've never seen such a flat, weird little nudie break that blended in so well. 
Holy shit. That was insane. I don't know about you, but. 90 meters. I saw a frog fish at the end. Oh, it's such a good one. Never seen that variation of color. Really? Night dives are the best. This dives that is the best. It was so Candy good. Crab. Alex is like, let's just do another one here and not go to Wild Reef. Because right when we were getting out, we were surfacing. There's two. So much stuff there. Th these rocks right here, like two, three meters, yeah. there was flatworms everywhere that I've never seen. And I couldn't even feel it. My lights were dead. My camera's dead. I was like already at the surface. I mean, I passed up like five nudies and flatworms that I've but never filmed. So many skipped. Huh? So many nudies I skipped. Yeah. <laughs> when we were filming those candy crabs, I was like, oh, we got to go. No more deco time. I mean, I was over deco time. Well, let's go back again here. All right. We can go further down there. Yeah, let's start like right here. Just go to the slope, like five meters. Spread out all these rocks. That was insane, man. You I guys just saw batteries. the footage. I yeah, I gotta batteries. change the batteries. You guys just saw the footage, but the things I skipped, I'm so sad because there's a few species that I never seen, and I was like, no, there's a huge flatworm like this, yeah. like right here, two meters probably. Ah, uh, I, I want to compare. Back down, my ear was getting hurt, so I just gradually went up. Yeah, yeah. Me and Alex were like, uh, huge freaking man. The critters, <laughs> critter season all day, all night. <laughs> all right, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe because we're about to do a second dive. Even later, go find more species that we never filmed before, never seen on YouTube. It's gonna be awesome. See ya.